According to the Hawaii Department of Business, 85% of visitors took a trip to Kauai for pleasure, to get married, or to vacation. But one girl decided to visit the island for a different reason. She was on a mission and represented the 0.000001% that visited the island to try the best acai bowls. And the next stop on her global list was the Garden Island. It's a classic story of girl versus island, or better said, girl versus acai bowl. What led her to Hawaii? A collection of stories from her parents' honeymoon, grandparents' vacation stories, and an ex claiming that Hawaii is better than California. She had to check it out for herself. And since no one was on a similar journey, she went alone. Okay, I'm in Hawaii right now. It's terrible. But here's the story. I'm here in Hawaii for about three days. Everyone's like, why are you here for three days? Everyone I'm meeting is married on their honeymoon or something. It's kind of funny. Uh, anyway, I just went to the grocery store. I bought some water bottles. And now I'm going to, oh, and I got this pokey too. So we're gonna eat that on the beach, which will be sick. And right now I'm just picking out a new outfit to wear on the beach. Dope. <laughs> I made it. I am the Pacific Ocean. Okay, this place is literally unreal. I thought California was literally perfect. And, I, and don't get me wrong, I love California still. This is crazy. Here's a tip from locals. If you're looking for super fresh food that's not incredibly expensive, check out the food trucks and grocery stores because they actually have a little market section where they make fresh food for you. Sitting on a log, eating some pokey. This is my first pokey of the trip. And honestly, it's really good. Although Kauai has a lot of really beautiful beaches, I love going to the beaches that no one was on and just exploring around. I had a very nice night. It was unexpected to have today. I was like really nervous to get on the plane. Is it, this is the longest flight I've ever been on. Oh, cheers. I'm excited for tomorrow. Aloha, good morning. I am gonna go grab a coffee at this place and then catch the sunrise on the ocean. It's a little bit rainy right now, but that's okay. I have no idea, where are the lights here? Okay, so I got a G for this, but I just need to know how to turn these. How do I turn on the blinker? I think it's maybe if I go this one maybe. Oh, I got it. My first stop is at Java Kai where I got a latte and I ordered macadamia nut milk but they actually ran out so I opted for pistachio nut milk. I love how there's so many milk options these days. After leaving the cafe, I turned the corner and was absolutely blown away by the sunrise. The sky lit up and it was this beautiful pink and purple and blue and my heart just absolutely melted.
So I was walking along the ocean doing my thing and I saw this cool path so we're gonna go check it out. On my journey was Kalalia Juice Hail, which was absolutely an amazing smoothie bowl place. They have the freshest ingredients, the sweetest owner, and toppings galore. I went with the King Kong Bowl, which was a signature acai blend topped with local banana, local granola, crushed macadamia nuts, cacao nibs, goji berries, organic peanut butter, house-made cacao nibs, local honey, and a dash of cinnamon. Oh. I also caved into the upsell of the mango on top because I just couldn't resist. This bowl definitely gave me Sun Life vibes with the cacao sauce, but this one definitely trumped Sun Life. <laughs> Okay, so I am at the Kalua Point National Wildlife Refuge to look at the lighthouse. But it just started pouring rain. I am in the garden state, so I'm not really surprised. I'm just gonna wait for it to stop a little bit and then I'm gonna go out to take some pictures. I passed this place that was doing fresh Dole Whip and so I had to stop there for a quick snack before my hike. So to go on the Kalalua Trail, what you have to do is reserve a parking spot a month in advance and because I booked this trip so last minute, I did not get a parking spot. So I took the bus over, which was honestly really convenient and I really enjoyed the view. I've always been attracted to the most dangerous hikes in America, whether that's Angels Landing in Zion National Park or this trail. There are clear visible signs that say do not proceed on this hike. It's strenuous and dangerous and deadly if it's raining and the mud will get bad and you could slip and fall. Funny enough, as I'm going on the hike, it starts pouring down rain and I just decide to embrace it. I'm a little bit concerned because the right rocks do get kind of, uh, they do get a little bit slippery. Coming back is going to be, like I'll be walking in slow motion. The halfway point for this trail is Tikiki Beach and the closer you get to the beach, the more people you run into. I found a lot of slow walkers, which were kind of annoying. Uh, and then I finally made it to the beach. It was kind of hard to jump over the rocks. Uh, and you're not supposed to go over the river if the water is flowing over the rocks. So I decided to go on off route a little bit and I did make it to the beach. However, it was so windy and rainy, I literally turned around in 10 seconds. Back at the smoothie bowl place and I'm gonna get an acai bowl because I saw someone eat it and it looks so good. So I definitely need to consume that. I'm here at Hanalei Pier. You can see the pier right there. You can't see anything around it though. Okay, it's raining a lot. The day's literally over. I did something salty because I just ate sweet things all day. I don't know, it had good reviews. It reminded me of Taya in Malibu, like my favorite Thai place. It's fire. But yeah, I think today was definitely a success. The sunrise in the morning was incredible. I've never seen the sky be so pink and purple at the same time.
birds will sing about your heart Maybe the trees will whisper the word Would you stand it in line for 30 minutes for a smoothie bowl? Well, this place, Little Fish Coffee in Poipu, has over a thousand reviews on Google, so I had to check it out. I went with the Pakala bowl, which was acai topped with peanut butter, bananas, blueberries, granola, almonds, and chocolate chips. I mean, this was absolutely insane. I would say the chocolate chip combination with the peanut butter almost knocked me off of this chair. I mean, it was it was really good. This place called Glass Beach. Oh, that looks super weird and creepy. I really just wanted to run down and see what it looks like. And I'm, oh my god, wait, someone weird just came out of it. You know what? I'm not gonna do it. You know what? We're doing it. We're doing it. I'm gonna go down this dirt path. I'm scared my car can't make it, but I just saw this other car do it, so I'm gonna try it. Here we go. It's working so far. Oh my god. It's so pretty. This is dinner. I'll drop in an actual picture here. It's called Waiwa Drive-In. A guy fairly went there and he loved it, so I ordered exactly what he got. It's fried chicken with like this amazing sauce. I really liked the Nepali Coast tour. The boat was sick. It was awesome. I was like in the front, loved it. I felt like I was flying. I was just like meditating. And then all of a sudden, they alerted us. Everyone in the front, it's you, the boat's basically gonna be underwater because it's gonna be it's gonna get really wet. The waves are crazy right now. I was the only girl wearing a swimsuit. I thought we were going snorkeling, but we never did. It was going up and down, up and down, and I was like riding it. I'm like, this is amazing. I was doing one hand, and then I was watching the Nepali coast. Like it was beautiful. All of a sudden, we turn around. I started feeling so seasick, and I don't know if it's because I was used to going like the waves, and then all of a sudden it was like slow. It just felt it was not good. I couldn't even eat dinner. And you know something is wrong with me when I don't accept food. I literally bought this cruise for the dinner. I'm 
at the uh, Kalaloo Lookout Trail. And that was my journey to Kauai, Hawaii. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope this inspires you to check out the island yourself. It's beautiful and there's a ton of amazing smoothie bowls. Until next time. <laughs>